application you see the output and it can be a little bit speckly or what's referred to as the salt and pepper effect so if you have a look at the image here for example and particularly in the in the zoom window you see it's very very sort of speckly and this isn't going to be that great when we want to incorporate it into a GIS and convert it to a vector for that purpose so what we can do in in post classification is to actually smooth this out a bit so if we go to classification post classification and majority minority analysis what we can do is just put in our classification as the input file and select all of our select all of our classes with the exception of the unclassified and masked pixels and apply a smoothing algorithm over over the image and what this will do is it, it'll just tend to to smoothen out the boundaries a little bit and reduce some of that speckle effect so the smallest kernel size that we can use is a 3x3 three three, which, which, which will then apply a small amount of smoothing or we can, we can increase this up a bit a bit. So if we start doing a 3x3 three three to start with just to apply a small level of smooth and just to see how that looks we can then choose an output file name for example I'm sorry if I'm going to put in a 3x3 three three there which I'll type that in and, and what I might do is what I'd like to do is test a 3x3, three three, a 5x5 five five and a 7x7 seven seven smoothing operation so as I know that I'm going to do all of those um, what I can do here is just go to Q and select this here and instead of running it running them one at a time I'll then run them in a batch afterwards so if I go Q here I've already actually created this file but I'm going to overwrite that for the purpose of this here so I'll go to yes and it doesn't actually run it at this stage so it'll wait for me to um, do all of the um, do all of the options in the queue and and then it will run them all together so if I go again so select all of these this time we're going to run a 5x5 five five. and I'll queue that one also and the final one that I'll run for testing is a 7x7 seven seven. so my input you see I'm just repeating the exact same process for all of these but just changing the kernel size and I'll use a 7x7 seven seven for the final one and go to Q now what I'll do here is to actually start these three files processing is then just go to file and just off the bottom there, I'll just bring it up is NVQ Manager so if I click on that it's got the three different processes that I've put in the queue there I can select all and then simply go to execute selected and that will run my processes and now I've got three new images that have been created with a 3x3 kernel, 5x5 kernel and a 7x7 kernel so in the first display group here I've just got the original classified image so that that was classified using the dark pixel subtraction and just to show the, the extreme difference between the original classification and a smoothed image I'll open up in another display group a 7x7 kernel so load that to a new display now if I bring this over here and what I'll do is I'll link the displays so you'll be able to see the difference quite clearly in terms of the, the image classifications here so that again the one on the left is the original classification and the one on the right has been smoothed okay so we've lost quite a bit of detail in the in individual areas as you'll see it's the areas where there's where there are only narrow bands of pixels that have been classified have been smoothed out and engulfed essentially in the classes that are around them so you see a lot a loss of a bit of detail but what it does mean is that if you were to incorporate this into a GIS you'd have a lot smoother polygons once it's been created into the vector so if we have a look at other areas you see see the loss of detail here in this in this burnt area this over a little bit um, and and again all through here there's quite a loss of detail so in in some areas this is a this is a good thing in terms of 
making it smoother and making it more map ready but in other areas if you do need to have that detail then it's probably gone a little bit too far to use the 7x7 seven seven kernel for example so where this image on the left you have a look in this area where my cursor is at the moment it looks like it's classified a road coming through here and then we lose that totally when we change to the 7x7 seven seven kernel however having said that looking at the at the coastline here it's jagged on the original classification and not very tidy whereas it's a lot neater on the 7x7 seven seven. so it's about it's looking for balance and trying to figure out which is going to be the best for your purpose.